Welcome to the project. This project is about deploying web application on Kubernetes cluster. So let's understand our situation first. We have a multi-tier web application stack which is already containerized. And we are going to use the vProfile web application which we containerized in our previous projects. So your web application is containerized and you have also tested it. Now it's time to host it for production. Running containers for production is little different. The requirement could be you need high availability so your containers don't go down and also high availability on your compute node. The requirement is also for fault tolerance. If something happens to the containers and they are not responding, they should also auto heal. It should be also convenient to scale containers and also the compute resource on which your containers are running. Platform independent and also portable, flexible, agile. So we should be able to run our containers on local cloud virtual machines, physical machines and should be able to run on dev, QA, production, different environment easily and conveniently. We can use container orchestration tool Kubernetes. Kubernetes is today the best container orchestration tool in the market. It's very mature and a rock solid platform to run your containers for production. Let's also check some statistics. In today's time, Kubernetes is one of the most used tools in the containerized platform and these statistics are here to prove them. 77% of containers today run on Kubernetes. If we include Redshift and Rancher which are already built on Kubernetes, then it's 89%. 56% of the organizations have reported that they're going to increase the usage of Kubernetes in next 12 months and that should be by end of 2020. From 2019 to 2020, there's 28% growth in usage of Kubernetes cluster for production containers. This is a huge number. So we can understand Kubernetes has taken the container orchestration or container world by a storm. So in this project, we are going to use our Java vProfile application, which we have containerized and we are going to run it on Kubernetes cluster. For production. Let's see how we're going to do it. So we need a Kubernetes cluster already and I'm going to use COPS to launch my Kubernetes cluster. You can check the project of Kubernetes setup where I have explained how you can use COPS to set up production grade Kubernetes cluster. We also need containerized application. We are going to use a vProfile we have already done a project on containerizing our vProfile application. So these are two main requirements. We need a Kubernetes cluster and we need containerized application and we are using a vProfile application. So you know in vProfile application, we have a MySQL container that needs volume to store its data so we can have persistent data. So for that, we're going to create an EBS volume to run our DB pod. Then we're going to label node with zone names. We're going to create EBS volume in a zone and we need our pod to be running on the same node or on the same zone where we created the EBS volume. So for this, we're going to label our nodes with zone names. So when we run our DB pod, we'll select node based on the zones. Once we are ready with all these steps, then we are going to write Kubernetes definition files to create our objects on Kubernetes cluster. We're going to use deployment, service, secret, and volume. So let's make it happen. The only thing I want you to do now is have a Kubernetes cluster created with COPS. And also take note of your images, which you have created in the containerization project. All right, so let's make it happen. <laughs> 